Volume, 0%. Good afternoon, and welcome to More Than Meets the Eye. I'm your host, Blind Prime, and for today, I have for you Transformers War for Cybertron Fast Track from Earthrise. And of course, this is continuing our Weaponizer series. This is the next to last Weaponizer that I have. Um, after this, we will be discussing core class and modulators to talk about like the city builders and stuff like that. And that will be the new ongoing series, of course, until the next weaponizer is released, that being Victory Leo. All right, let's talk about this guy, and he's actually a really fun action figure. Now, if you didn't know, Fast Track is the uh, partner to Scorponok. Um, he's a he becomes Scorponok's spear, and uh, he's just kind of the little partner to Scorponok. That's what all the weaponizers have been so far. They've just been. Uh, partners to Titan class things, for instance, you know you've you've had the uh, the slammer and the six shot or six gun, which both were um, partners to Metroplex, and then we had Cog, which was a partner to Fortress Maximus, and then we had uh, Brawl, which was a partner to um, crap, uh, uh, not Titanus, Dart. Um, the, the evil dinosaur that has the car on his chest. Oh my god, I can't believe I've forgotten his name. Oh well. Sometimes you just forget names. Alright. Well, anyway, this guy is the little bitty partner to the Scorponok. Or, if you got his, uh, Generation Selects version, which is called Blackarichi, Blackarichi is the partner to Black Zerk. Now, I do not have a Black Ricci. I only have a Fast Track. So let's talk about Fast Track here in his first robot appearance. This has been the first robot appearance for every one of the weaponizers so far. You know, they've usually just been stupid little vehicles. And, uh, man, they've been all right. Now let's talk about this guy's robot mode, because it's actually a really nice robot mode. Um, so we'll cover articulation and then get into uh, siege ports. And then after siege ports, we'll talk about molding and stuff like that. So articulation first, uh, only a 90 in the elbows, but the hands do spin 360 degrees, which is nice. I do hate that there's only a 90 in the elbow, and there's no way to lock the elbow joint. Like, that would have been cool to have some sort of thing that folds over to lock the elbow joint. Uh, but that's only for the spear mode, and we'll talk about that eventually. But yeah, that's that, that's my sadness there. The, the shoulders do move up and down, they don't move back and forth, but they can spin around. And, uh, yeah, that, that's typical shoulder activity that you would get from a weaponizer. You know, weaponizers don't have as many, uh, as many nice articulation points as others. His hips do have some nice articulation, though. There is a 360-degree spin. They can wiggle back and forth. They can wiggle up and down. They can even spin at the thigh. And because of transformation, you get a very nice knee bend. But it's only a 90 degree, it's only a single jointed knee, like the single jointed elbows. And further down here, we get a nice, uh, very wide swivel for the uh, toe, uh, foot tilt. And the uh, toes on the front can move up and down slightly. Uh, or they can just fold down entirely, but you don't really want that. And that's pretty nice. You know, this guy, with articulation wise, he is pretty, pretty on point. He, he's not bad. His head does have some good articulation. It can spin, but it can't look up or down or anything. It just spins 360 degrees. Uh, that's better than some, but uh, worse than most. So let's talk about this guy in the form of siege ports now. So he's got, you know, counting his hands. That's all right. And then his arms. Don't really have any there. Oh, wait, nope. There's one there. So say, uh, four. And then up at the shoulder. We've got five, six, all right. And then on his back, we've got one. Nope, none on his back. His back is covered. Uh, so that's six. And then on his side, on his legs, you get mm, nothing. There's no siege port on his legs. And then on the bottom of his feet, you get two. Yeah, so that's... Eight siege ports in robot mode? Not not a lot, not a lot, especially for a weaponizer. Now siege pegs, on the other hand, he gets one, two, three, four, 
and five six on his back. So siege pegs, he gets six. Oh, I forgot. There's two siege ports right on right on either side of his shoulder area. So that makes it eleven siege ports that he. Uh, I mean, uh, ten siege ports that he gets, and the siege pegs of five. Yeah, five siege pegs. Now that's not bad. So let's talk about his molding. I think that this guy has some really fun stuff about him. Like, they they did do some stuff with the molding that was really cool. Like, I like the little vents on the undersides of his arm. I really appreciate that molding technique. That was cool. It's like he's, he's, his arms got vents because they're just so powerful. They need extra air to cool them down or they'll overheat. His arms are so hot, they overheat. Um, he's got... Some nice molding around there. His little his little gun lasers that he has that he's holding in his hand, which can be removed. They're just accessories. They they have some nice texture to them, and um, feel like little little full hand lasers. They 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 feel sci-fi and weird, but you know a good weird. They're straight up just sci-fi guns. That's cool. Uh, on his chest, he's got two like breastplate things over each of his uh you know each side of his upper chest, and down here we've got something that equates kind of to abs with how it's uh how it feels and that's mainly it oh and there's a siege peg there that can that can flip out so that's six siege pegs i didn't even i forgot about that one so six siege pegs yay six all right now we get over here to his shoulders and we can feel not much going on there not many unique textures it just there's some vents textured on the sides and uh, for the most part that's it on the shoulders. The head has a really fun head sculpt that you can feel. It's a uh, it's really nice. It's pretty well done. And uh, on his back we've got this textured thing that actually can be removed and uh, I guess it acts like a shield or something. It's really it's a weird part. I'll just be honest with you. It's a weird thing. It it could be a shield if you fold it like that so he can he can then put his gun up here so he can have two guns at the top and then we're going to put his shield right here in his hand and um then spin his arm a little bit so and no no the shield goes up like that there we go there it is there's a nice shield so he's got a cool shield and it just comes off his back and then on the back once the shield's off we notice that we got an additional uh siege port there so we, we increase the siege ports by one making it 11 and we'll move down to the legs. Now the legs have six wheels, which I really, really like. Uh, I like vehicles with six wheels. I think they're fun. You don't see them very often. And it's just neat little, neat. Uh, I really like that. And they did, they did well molding the wheels and the wheel treads. And uh, they did well molding the upper thighs. Like these feel like robot thighs. They, they got these little, it's got a little spot in it so you can put a blast effect. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, can we can we do something obscene and in, 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 in rude? Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Let's just go put this right there at that blast effect part. No, eh, it's it's too small to fit that blast effect, but it does fit other blast effects, which is cool. He's got quite a few of those little parts, and the legs themselves do feel very armor-like and kind of industrial. What was that? Oh, that was just your little arm thing. And the toes are very nicely well sculpted. I, I have to say, the only negative I have with this robot mode is articulation and the fact that these wheels are pegged in. Like, you, you can feel this horizontal stripe going down where they, they just put the wheel over some plastic uh, squishy pegs. It, it snaps into place. But then you leave, you, you're left with this look, and I can feel it. And it's just, it's just, why did you do that? Why didn't you just have some wheels that popped into place? And we're a full wheel with a hubcap instead of this wheel minus hubcap that just kind of spins around the center bit. And if you do that, then why not just make them rubber? What is up with Hasbro and not having rubber wheels? How can Lego have millions of rubber wheels be the greatest producer of tires in the world? Look it up. They make the most tires. They make the most rubber tires by spades, by leaps and bounds than anybody else. And if they can do it, and put rubber on everything tire-like, then why can't Hasbro? Why can't Hasbro give us rubber wheels? Why do we always get these pieces of plastic POSs? 
Anyway, um, other negatives about this figure are the massive hollow zones behind his legs. I mean, this, this figure did very well when it came to no hollow points. There's nothing. It's done. This guy is solid all the way down to his legs, and then there's just this giant hollow area. And it really takes away from the figure and also makes the legs a little too light. So the top of the body is a bit heavier than the bottom of the body, and that can cause problems with posing, and I don't like that. I wish they had done something with those legs. But overall, this is a decent figure. It's definitely not in my top 10 from Earthrise, but it's neither in my top 10 worst figures of Earthrise. Trust me, there's, there's more than 10 of my worst figures from Earthrise, but because uh, a few of them are tied. But no, this guy is neither the best nor the worst, but he is a decent weaponizer, and he's fun to pose, and he doesn't fall apart as easily as other weaponizers tend to. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the show. Please tune in next Prime, where I will uh, do a Blind Builds episode teaching you how to disassemble robot mode from this guy and assemble him into both his vehicle mode and his spear attack mode. Tune in then. Bye-bye for now.